Come on in. Welcome to Storytime Live. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Miss Carol, for joining me today. Um, I am Miss Wendy with the Rockbridge Regional Library, and it is Storytime Live. It is Wednesday, September 9th. Outside looks a little bit cloudy, foggy maybe, looking like hints of fall. If you ask me, I'm starting to see some leaves falling, but but it's going to be a beautiful day. It's not too hot, so let's do story time. Shall we do our Hello Friends song? I think we should. I'm going to take my mask off for this. Okay, so if you remember this song, Hello Friends, we'll say hello, and then friends, and time to say hello. All right, we'll do it twice. One, two, three. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello again. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Well, hello friends out there. Who's out there today? Let me know you're here. You can always ask your caregiver or parent to type your name in, and I will, I hope to see you here. A um, couple things. I'm going to, to, this week we are going to read and learn about our five senses. We've got five of them. So, Miss Carol, do you know about five senses? Do you have I think I have all five. You think you have all five? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Well, let's check. Let's okay. see what we have. The first one we have is eyes. These are for seeing. The second one we have is hearing. The third one we all have is tasting. All these things help us understand the world around us. What else do we have? We also have smelling smell the roses smell pizza <laughs> smell french fries smell cookies and then finally touch you can touch your cat or your dog or it could be rough like you're on the gravel outside or it could be like grass freshly cut grass that's so we've got five, and that helps us to understand the world around us. So this week, we're going to sing about senses, and we're going to read about our senses, and it's going to be super fun. But first, it's we got to wake up our feet. we got to wake up something, because it is still kind of early. we got to wake these guys up. So let's do our wake-up song, Wake Up Feet. Now let's, let's see if we can do the five senses version. So let's see. First, let's wake up our eyes because those that's how we see. All right? One, two, three. Wake up eyes. You want to blink them? Wake up eyes. Wake up eyes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up eyes. Wake up eyes. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Okay. Let's see. How about let's wake up our hands because that's how we touch. Ready? We'll shake them like this to get them awake. One, two, three. Wake up hands. Wake up hands. Wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands. Wake up hands. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Okay, so let's see. I would say ears, but I can't wiggle my ears. <laughs> so let's try nose. Smell. Let's wake up our noses. Wake up nose. <laughs> wake up nose. Thanks. <laughs> wake up nose and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up. I could go closer. Wake up nose. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Now, if you were a bunny, that would be no problem. You would just go. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I feel ready. I feel ready. So that leaves only one thing. Are you ready? For a story. So let's give it a try. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. 
If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. All right, this time we're going to stomp our feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Now we're going to get ourselves all cozied up and ready to read, so we'll sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Okay, raise, hold it, hold it. Oh, okay, let's take a deep breath. <laughs> that always helps me feel a little bit more ready to read. So I am going to get my first book and it is going to tell us all about five senses. This is a good one to start with so that we can all understand what we mean when we say our five senses. And this is by Alki. His nose, his mouth, there's his tongue, and hand. This is brought to us by Harper Books. Look, he can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Look at all these things. These are different things you can see. These are different things you can hear. These are different things you can hear. Uh-oh, not that guy. These are things you can touch. I can I can touch I can touch with my fingers soft little bunny I do all of this with my senses I have senses when I see the sun or a frog or my baby sister I use my sense of sight I am seeing engine or a bird soap or a pine tree or cookies of smell I am smelling touch I am touching Sometimes I only use one. I often play a game with myself. I guess, how many senses am I using at that time? When I look at the moon and the stars, I use one sense. I am seeing. When I laugh and play with my puppy, smell, and touch. All four. <clears throat> when I bounce a ball, sometimes I use more of one sense and less of another, but each sense is very important to me because it makes me aware. To be aware is to see all there is to see. 
hear all there is to hear, smell all there is to smell, taste all there is to taste, touch all there is to touch. Wherever I go, whatever I do, every minute senses do we use when we are doing story time? What senses do you use? Your ears for sure. I don't use my we use our hands mm -hmm. to clap yeah. and our feet to stomp. So the only things we don't use in story time is smell and taste. To taste the books. Don't taste the books. That won't work. <laughs> okay, so I actually have a test for you guys. Let's see about our sense of hearing. Now I have three bags here, three pouches. I'm going to shake them and I want to know if you can tell what's in the bag by only using your ears. Well, you can absolutely close your eyes. Close your eyes and just listen. It's a familiar sound in my house. My seven-year-old loves these. They're very colorful. <laughs> well, let's peek in and see what we are. Let's see if anybody getting might be a little bit easier. So close your eyes and listen. Somebody's getting ready for the holidays. What do you think that is, Miss Carol? Sounds like maybe bells. Bells. Or pistachio. Or pistachio shells. Bells. Those make good sounds. Okay, now here's the hardest one of all. Okay, you guys, close your eyes and listen. What? Can you hear anything at all? But there's something in this bag. Look, this book is also about, thank you. This book is about hearing. So I thought you should read this one. Mm. The Listening Walk. Now here's a question. Do you guys ever think, what is that? that out there? I don't like it. It makes me Or have you gone out in the afternoon and heard the insects? Oh my gosh, there's I love it. And it's just the cicadas and the crickets and the katydids and all those animals out there making time you're outside. So this book is called The Listening Walk. And it's hot now. We're for the video. Here we go. It's live again. Okay, guys, let's see if this works now. Hopefully it will. Okay. Okay, so they're tucked all they're in their tucked little tucked beds. Eight buggy babies in awake. Too terrified to peep. Hoots and toots and tweets and twitters swirled around his head. Surrounded by those soft, sweet sounds, he heard these things instead. Uh-oh, he looks scared. The creaking bones of creeping trees. The shrieks and moans of buggies begging, bent upon their knees. Wiggle hid beneath his sheet. His eyes were bugging wide. Gnawing, gnashing monster's teeth clacked greedily outside. He's his imagination is thinking all those noises are he wiggle whispered and you you mm. It's bugaboos! 
news, Miss Spider said. Your a listening walk is all you need, a nighttime forest tour. So out into the lively night. Wiggle jumped and jittered when he heard a clack, clack, clack. But it was only Eunice Earwig crunching down a snack. Well, that one's not so bad, he said. But I heard other sounds. I'm sure were fearsome monster beasties prowling on their rounds. He's not convinced yet. Just up ahead, a creaking, creaking rocked a tiny tree. Miss Spider pulled her wiggle very close so he could see. She said, it's not a monster, dear. Spinderella is our friend. Still not convinced. Then overhead, a whooshing made poor Wiggle jump and squeal. They're swooping down to get me. I don't want to be a meal. But it was only Louie Luna looping through the sky. I guess he's not so scary. Wiggle sniffled with a sigh. My favorite moth, everybody's favorite moth. It's f giggled. Night's not spooky like I thought. With monsters hiding everywhere, because now I see they're not. I don't believe in monsters. Now there's nothing more to dread. I'm absolutely sure my nighttime bugaboos have fled. He smiled up at his mother, then gazed into the air, imagining the beasties that he knew were never there. A thousand phosphorescent eyes were blinking from the trees. <gasps> I do believe in monsters, Wiggle croaked. Don't eat me, please. They're only fireflies, laughed his mom. We're coming al along this way to get our chance to see them dance the firefly ballet. They sat together on a leaf, or a glow, and watched the swirling magic of the brilliant midnight show. Do you guys watch the fireflies when they come out in the summer? The night is pretty, Wiggle yawned, and quite a lot of fun, but still I'm glad we get to live and play out in the sun. They climbed into their cozy hole, Sometimes, like, do you guys ever get nervous when you hear big th sounds of thunder? Sometimes that can be scary, but thunder can't hurt you. It's always important to find out what, what it is that you're hearing if it scares you so that you don't have to be scared anymore. Okay, so it's time. Let's get, that was a long one. So let's, let's wiggle a little. Now, Miss Carol, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you if you'll join me with a a little bit of a head, shoulder, knees, and toes situation. Mm. <laughs> now, I know this looks like it's super close. Well, maybe we'll back mm -hmm. it up a little bit because I forgot we were doing a singing. Yeah. So this one, we may want to, let me get you in there and see if we're good. Morning, Excellent, yay. Okay, so you guys all know head, shoulders, knees, and toes, right? Right. <laughs> so, we're just gonna run through that really quickly and then we're gonna do a five senses version of Ooh. head, shoulders, knees, and toes, okay. okay? So, everybody ready for head, shoulders, knees, and toes? One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. And eyes, and ears, and mouths, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Now, if you notice, there was five, there were some senses in there. Yeah. So we already have part of the song. This time we're going to go, now this is a thing, we're going to mess this up. So everybody should just know, see, smell, touch, hear, taste, <laughs> touch, hear, taste. <laughs> we're going to do it so slow. Okay, good. So one, two, three. See, smell, touch, <laughs> hear, taste. I did this to you on purpose. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's try that okay. again. So, see, smell, touch, hear, taste, touch, hear, taste. See, smell, touch, hear, taste, touch, hear, taste, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose see, see smell, smell touch your 
your taste. Okay. Touch your taste. Okay, I promise I'll never do that to your taste. But I got it. I mean, we got it. I mean, we got it. Should we do it one more time? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay. If we the hard one. one. The hard one. The hard yeah, we're doing okay. the hard one, and we're just gonna keep going. Okay. Yes, okay. Right. keep going. One, two, three. See, smell, touch your taste. Touch your taste. See, smell, touch your taste. Touch your taste and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. See, smell, touch your taste. Touch your taste. Yes! You know what? That was awesome. <laughs> that was probably the best we will ever do it. And thankfully, we did that for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> I bet they got it. They, yeah, they had it. They had it from the get-go. It's tricky. So I have one last book. And this is just the sweetest. And it's, you know, it's Dr. Seuss. Now, I have a question. Miss Carol, mm -hmm. when it says, writing as mm -hmm. Theo Lesig, what does this mean? Backwards, so it's a geisel. Oh, uh, wow. now the Theo that I can't say, but geisel is his name. last name. Oh, that's uh, Theodore see. Geisel. Yeah, I knew I was going to ask the right person yeah. about this. That's awesome. Okay, so this is called the what sense. Do we have with our eyes seeing by Joe Matthew? Everybody's got eyes. And this comes from <laughs> beginner books. <laughs> Rabbit's eyes. I know. He's so cute. Hi. <laughs> Eye. Eyes. We have two, so it's eyes. My eyes. My eyes. His eyes. His eyes. Wink eye. And he's like, oh, me. Eyes see. His eyes see. I see him. And he sees me. Our. Okay, got it. And. <laughs> I think we're back, guys. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Sometimes there's technical difficulties, as I'm sure we are all aware right about now. But if you recall, they're talking about their sight, their sense of sight. They see the sun. They see the moon. They see a fork, a knife, and a spoon. They see a girl. They see a man. A boy. A horse. An old tin can. They look down holes. They look up poles. Our eyes see trees. They look at clocks. They look at bees. They look at socks. Our eyes see flies. Our eyes see ants. Sometimes they see pink underpants. <laughs> <laughs> kind of throw underpants in there. <clears throat> Our eyes see rings. Our eyes see strings. They see so many, many things. So many things like rain and pie and dogs and airplanes in the sky. And so we say, hooray for eyes, hooray, hooray for, hooray for eyes. That's right. Hooray for eyes indeed. <laughs> All righty. Well, we've come to the end of our story time, but not to worry. A couple things. Don't forget, we still have these story time bags. If you want to have one so that you can help join in with the music and the songs just let me know you can leave a message right here on facebook and i'll put one out to hold for you and then we will be back again tomorrow at 10 30 
for more books and songs about our five senses. But before we do anything else, we have got to wash our hands. All right, you guys ready for tops and bottoms? One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. You know what I learned about this song? Hmm. It also applies to brushing your teeth. Uh -huh. Tops and bottoms, oh, tops yeah. and bottoms in between. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we, we've been singing that for teeth brushing. Anyway, so until tomorrow, I will see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, I'll see you guys tomorrow, have a great day, bye.